when we talk about when we talk about the Father, right? What are we talking about? When we talk about Elohim, what are we talking about? When we talk about Aesop, what are we talking about? Those things that, that I think that we need to have a simplistic understanding of. And in thinking about it, I wanted, I wanted to simplify it here, and I'm going to simplify it tomorrow as well so that we will be in the same place, on the same page, when we make those kinds of uh, statements. Does that make sense? So, um, you, want, you want me to do this? You can do that part. Okay, all right. You can't do it for me? No, I need to get it to you. You need to light up? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, um, yeah, you can wipe all that up. Yeah. Um, what I want, what I want, what I, what I'm, what I want to deal with, I want to make clear, is that I, I, I heard in my head during the course of the week statements that people were making like, um, Elohim is in me, or the Elohim I am, or, um, but I didn't hear them, I, I don't hear people referencing themselves as Elohim. The scripture did not say that the Elohim uh, that's in you, it says that I say that you are Elohim. That's what it says, definitively. So, I, and, and by hearing those comments in my head, I hear a couple of things. One thing I hear is a lack of clarity on the understanding of what is meant when the scripture says that I say that you are Elohim. The other thing is that, that um, I hear is the discomfort with expressing the reality of who we are because for so long, uh, we have been told it's blasphemous to even make reference to yourself as being God. So, so um, I think if we can understand um, the origin of Elohim and and begin to see the the see who Elohim is, because to bring clarity to it, we also uh, have to look at the Adam, the Adam. Because when you talk about he created, uh, we were created in his image, right? He created Adam in his image. That's what it says. But we have for so long been taught that he created man in his image. And our concept of man is not the concept that the scripture speaks of when it talks about Adam. They are totally different concepts. When it is, and and, and the, 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 uh, the lack of clarity um, with that is no different than the lack of clarity, um, the lack of understanding. For example, when people talk about, I had someone that called me this week and asked me the question, uh, the, 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 the question was, um, first the statement is made, then the question was asked. I have been making preparations for the Sunday school lesson for Sunday. And I'm looking at this resurrection story, and I'm counting the days. And they don't add up to three days. What's the problem here? And my response to that was, that's because you're counting the days based upon Christianity that comes out of the Vatican and not counting them based on the days prior to that. And the actual days are from Thursday to Saturday evening, counting the Jewish days as from 6 in the morning to 6 in the 
evening, 12 hour days. That's why they were counted. And, and um, the response was, well, you know I can't teach that. I'm like, yeah, you can't, but you do, you know the truth, and left it alone. So my, my thing about that is this. How, how, how long will people accept the Friday thing to the Sunday thing when they know in their heart of hearts it doesn't add up? Simply because it's unpopular not to. And, 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 and that's what brings me to, need, to the need to understand Elohim to the point where regardless of how uncomfortable it may, it may cause you to feel it doesn't matter. You don't get to a good place without going through something. And the something that we go through with this is a shedding of this whole misconception of what it means to be blasphemous. 